Hello everybody, welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, deck number 465, we're going to start Commander 19. That's right. I had, okay, first before we start, this is a problem. Um, there is a problem in the supply chain uh, for the deck boxes. And the LGS is ordering from Southern Hobby, and Southern Hobby is ordering from Ultra Pro. And Ultra Pro is where the hold's up at. So, come on, Ultra Pro. Ship these deck boxes. I need a bunch. But I had three left from the last batch that I haven't used yet. So, I was able to work on, you know, at least a couple decks. And these other are just, I'm building decks in piles and it bothers me. But anyway, you have to forgive my voice. I think I'm coming down with, I don't know what it is. But, anyway... Grismold. I was super excited about Grismold. Three mana, three, three trample, right? At the beginning of your end step, each player creates a 1 1 plant. And whenever a creature token dies, put a 1 1 counter on this. Now, through the last weekend and Commander coming out, I didn't do a set review. I guess y'all noticed. Because there's just so many folks doing it right now. But I listened to quite a few. And nobody was hype for this guy so I certainly was so let's look at just okay the idea here is we're gonna create a mass amount of tokens for everybody and then slaughter those tokens it's a uh, it's a long way around Voltron I guess you could say but Let's look at it. First, uh, I've got a couple categories here. First, we're going to go with ramp. We're going to peel through these pretty quick because this is the... Now, I have got two creature. That's pretty much it. Well, two that I want to stay alive. And to be honest with you, I'm not super stoked about keeping them in there because the idea, y'all are going to see, we are killing some creatures, okay? And... They're just not going to stick around that long. Now, the veteran explorer, obviously, you know, he stays in because we want this guy to die. But that's where, I mean, I'm running the three Golgari rocks, the clue stone, the locket, and the signet. Uh, as far as, woo, uh, rapid growth, cultivate, harrow, path. Whoa, I'm getting so excited, I'm knocking stuff over. Uh, far wandering. Far wanderings is uh, is that the sweet one? No, no, no. Primal growth. That's the sweet one because kicker sacrifice a creature. Okay. <laughs> Circuitous route. Now, so the idea is we've got to create tokens. We got to make tokens. So I mean, obviously, they give us stuff like the Ver uh, the Vernon Force. Now I'm. Pretty sure there's a C19 version, but uh, these three decks I've started building before we could actually get our hands on the C19 product, so that's why I'm. And also, you know, it's white border. Nothing stands out on a table like white border. That's oh. Living Hive. That's pretty neat. Uh, I mean, it's a 6 6 trample. Eh, it's a little expensive, yeah, but we'll be able to do it. But that many insect tokens. Oh. Fungal Sprouting, Hooded Hydra is, I mean, when it, they're, you make it big enough, they're going to kill it, and of course when they kill it, eh. Morbid Bloom, Necrogenesis, and Dread Summons, but check out this one, this is my favorite one, Infernal Genesis. See, a lot of these cards from way back are, are, are just, these are the gems. This is the reason why I love our format. So at the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player mills a card and gets X11s equal to that CMC. Oh, everybody does it? Everybody? So, okay, okay. I know what you're thinking. Well, we're just passing out creatures to our opponents left and right. We're just, you know. But, Violent Play is a, uh, is not a bad card. Now, I like Violent Plague. Um, minus two, minus two. 
that does kill like zombies, but if you need to only kill the one ones, we've got illness in the ranks. So what's going to happen here is Grismold says at the end of your turn, everybody gets that token. That token dies. However many players there are, he gets that many counters. Yeah, this happens after the combat phase, but you know what? That's fine. Uh, Caltrops. If they decide they want to attack with... Uh, well, Caltrops just... Uh, now, I, I didn't want to go the uh, Caltrops Death Pits of Wrath thing, because that's what hurt Grismold, but even though that is a really, really good combo. Hey, Danny, you need to put Caltrops in your uh, Death Pits of Wrath deck with um, the Enchant Land that deals one damage to everything. That'd be awesome. Engineer Plague. You can choose saplings, you can choose plants, you can choose whatever you want to. Um, still kind of works. Now, a lot of these are going to double as I'm in the way to remove uh, to remove tokens. Right now, I'm not even in the removal category. So there is a lot of quote unquote removal to the deck. But, you know, Cower in Fear, I like that one. Kills most tokens. Infest, Flaying Tendrils, Nausea, Crux of Fate. Planar Despair, that's, that's not bad. Yehini's Expertise, Golgari Charm. What about a girl? Yeah, you got to be really, really careful with the Massacre Girl because it's possible that she just, you know, that's some complicated math to do, I know, to make sure that your Grismold is going to live, but still. And, and there are times when you just play her on, you know, when you don't have, because you just need the board wiped. Now, these last three cards are variants on Pestilence. Pestilence is just good for wiping out one ones, right? Or one toughness creature. So, uh, the problem with it is, it dies when there's no creatures in play. Now, we got a kind of a couple years later in Weather Wiped, we got a version that didn't die. However, it does cost one more mana, and we also got Thrashing Wampus, a 3-3 version, which is fine if you're only going to do it twice a turn, because the damage gets erased and he's still living. Now, any kind, anytime I use Pestilence, I use Urza's Armor. I like to use Stuffy Doll, but let's face it, I don't have as many Stuffy Dolls as I want, because, uh, you know, Pestilence is a perfect Stuffy Doll deck. Um... Let's look at some of these others here. I, I, I've got... We have... Since we have ways to make tokens and ways to kill tokens, let's look at profiting off of dying things. Y'all knew Zula Port Cutthroat was in here, right? Um, Moldravine Reclamation. It's another great card. Creature. Now, this is only creatures you control, but you still you gain a life and draw a card, so... Heck yeah. Poison Tip Archer. Another creature dies. Each opponent loses one. Man, this is this is real close to a win condition here. We got our buddy Slimefoot. This is kind of why I leaned into, you know, kind of, there's more sapperling token makers than anything else. And, of course, you know, Slimefoot makes saps. Last Laugh. This is another card that just goes away when uh, there's no creatures. Let's look at this one. This is my probably my favorite in the whole deck, Liege of the Hollows. If it's put into any graveyard from play, each player may pay any amount of mana to put that number of squirrel tokens into play. Yeah, so if you can kind of control when this dies... And just dump a ton of mana. Grismold's going to get ridiculous. Let's look at Dual Nature. I remember thinking Dual Nature wasn't perfect, but it was close. Oh yeah, Dual Nature's uh, uh, 
all creatures will buy one get one free you get a token copy but it does give us something else to kill no it doesn't the tokens get exiled well this is a slot isn't it at six man anyway oh oh check this out oh god I love it that's right Titania's song now Titania song admittedly does not get a lot of love but you know what um, this kills all the enchantments or I mean all the artifacts too with all, all of your minuses you're passing out uh, the destroy all whatever's the I mean it this is hardcore going to keep all artifacts off the table I mean we don't have a lot to, we got those three rocks Psst. And I think they sacrifice for an ability. So let's look at some card draw. Of course, I have the, the usual suspects here. Read the Bones, Harmonize, Sign and Blood. Death Heap Ritual is nice. It's real nice. I do have a tutor. So let's look at uh, actually what we're calling removal. Now, Beast Within flesh bag a lot of these like the flesh bag and the plague crafter do kind of help out the overall theme naturalize I like this new mired misery but it's not gonna work the way you want it to work probably ever but it does get permanents off the board so um, return to nature is just a just an awesome card Doom Blade, Lignify for those indestructible things, uh, Putrefy, Casualties of War, God, I love that, and, you know, Hex, because who doesn't like a one-sided Border Wrath, because that's most of the time what it is. Now, for lands, um, don't have, a, I'm really close to just using the land base that came in uh, C-19, so we have got Colony Garden in there, obviously, because it creates a plant token. Foul Orchard, Guildgate, Rock Farm, Hollow, Lanawar Waste, Grim Backwoods. You know, second creature drawn a card seems good. Uh, the Wilds and the Expanse, the Gateway Plaza, and lastly, y'all know I couldn't forget a Rogue's Passage in a deck that where we're relying on our commander to swing. Well, that is what I have got for Grismold. Um, let's uh, put this back in our, our case here. Uh, I do apologize. I know it's been a while, uh, but I've been trying to, you know, do the life thing. And and then these this whole deck box issue, uh, I really... I really hope it, it, it's not a uh, we quit making this problem because uh, that would be an issue because let's face it I'm pretty committed to this particular deck box <laughs> so we got 465 Grismold is done that's the very first uh, on, the commander 19 was now I've got two more over here I, I don't know if y'all can see those but the two I have started are Angie Angie and we're just I'm just gonna call it Angie right Angie and Kirik. Um, I don't know. Uh, I haven't had a chance to play with Kirik yet. Is uh, is Kirik all that? I mean, have any of y'all played with him? Because they're talking like this guy is just the stuff. He's cool, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. I mean, I've got weird plans. I've got weird plans for Angie. Really, really like Angie. Uh, Angie lets us build what a 30 card deck so that's sweet uh, had uh, had a blast last night uh, in uh, the discord chat with all you patrons uh, we kind of collectively just built a deck uh, the Grieven deck we were uh, everybody was throwing out ideas we pretty much collectively just built that deck so um, I had a blast. We'll probably do it every Tuesday and Thursday now because uh, I'm Karate Dad and I have that block of time where I'm idle. So uh, 
I appreciate it, guys. And uh, if uh, if y'all want to join the conversation there on, on Discord, or you know, feel free to go over to Patreon or just you know, like and share, subscribe, because uh, what is it now? Like fifty four percent of y'all are not subscribed, so. I'd appreciate it. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. But right now, mm, yeah, I think we're going to shuffle and cut.